What's up, everybody? Mikkel Bird, MacTown Media, the dopest show in every dimension. And we got some crazy shit going on in Colombia right now. For those that don't know, um, there is a presidential election that is underway that will be apparently decided in May or some sort. And uh, there is a woman running. Well, first off, it's a man. The, the guy who's running for president, his name is Petro. And I'll show you a quick picture of him if I can get to it. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, here we go, here we go. Well, no. Anyway, let me let me not skip here. Anyway, um, the woman that's ru- his name is Petro. Okay, the woman that's running with him, his vice presidential candidate, is Francia Marquez Mina. Now she is a black woman, Afro Latina of African descent, of course. And there is a singer, which I'll show you real quick. There is a singer in um, Colombia named Marbell, okay? But this is how I came into knowledge of what's going on in there. This singer named Marbell is being extremely racist towards Petro's vice president, uh, Francia Marquez. And I found this article today. I actually found it on Twitter first, but it's from... Semana, which is a pretty good publication that covers Colombian news, amongst other things. And it says, misogynist and racist country. This was translated from Spanish to English, too, by the way, with Google Translate. Misogynist and racist country, country controversy after messages from Mar Bell and Gustavo Bolivar related to Francia Marquez. Um, the artist's message – the artist is Mar Bell. She's a female singer from Colombia. The artist's message of the singer Marbel and Senator Gustavo Bolivar against Francia Marquez um, unleashed Twitter fury to the point that both had to eliminate them, meaning that they made these posts on Twitter which were definitely racist, like undeniably racist. And uh, that's the vice president right there, vice president, can- uh, vice presidential candidate, which, by the way, I want to point out something strange. In the United States of America, we call the vice presidential candidate, like whoever the – like if you, have a, if you have a candidate who's running for president and he selects his vice president, we call them, we call them their running mate. Well, in Colombia, they don't use the word running mate. They use the word formula. So uh, anyway – Let's go into the article just a little bit. The singer Marbell unleashed the controversy in the country after this Monday. She published through her Twitter account that the candidate Gustavo Petro and his vice presidential formula, Francia Marquez, are supposedly similar to Kakas and King Kong. The word Kakas translates to shit, so she's basically calling both of them a couple of pieces of shit. That's what she means when she says Kakas. Uh, Senator Gustavo Bolivar tried to defend Marquez from the racist criticism made by the singer, but ended up com- complicated everything after also using an image of King Kong on Twitter to refer to Petro's vice presidential formula. Both the artist and the politician from the historical pack deleted the Twitter post. So both of them are saying racist shit, right? And they're talking about it right here on a, a YouTube video. Um, <clears throat> perhaps later um, I'll, I'll post that. I'm going to post all these links in a comment, okay? And this is... um. This is what the uh, vice presidential candidate is saying. She said, this is the country. What we have noticed and known is that finally the country in front can talk about being a misogynist and racist country. In this context, what we are showing is that these conversations are revealed. The most private that Colombian families are having, especially with respect to black women, Afro-descendant women. Laura began in saying to Vicky from Semana, um... The journalist also indicated that these types of racist messages end up being almost sociological indicators of what Colombians actually think about Afro women who do not conceive them in power and instead see them in a servile attitude. Now, one thing I want to point out, this is the page, and I'm going to post links to her Twitter as well, Francia Marquez Mina, where she's saying um, – I want to get to it. This is the translated tweet, right? This is her talking. This is translated. Slander. Racist demonstrations are not enough. But in less than a month, they have threatened me with death twice, along with other social leaders. Mr. President Ivan Duque, referring to the current president, uh, Ivan Duque Marquez, 
coincidentally, they both have the same last name, so I thought that was pretty cool. I ask you to guarantee my physical integrity, meaning safety, that of my family and the leaders mentioned here. So this woman has been uh, the vice president, uh, Francia Marquez Mina. She has been pointing out all the racism that she has been receiving, including death threats, um, you know, during this whole presidential run. Of course, she's running with Petro. And uh, this was another article. Well, let me see here. Well, that's that. Hold on just a second. Okay, this is, this is an earlier article, uh, March 27th, and it says, Land Defender Francia Marquez might become Colombia's first black vice president. Um, leading presidential candidate Gustavo Petro announced Wednesday that the Afro-environmentalist Envi- lawyer Francia Marquez will serve as his running mate in May's presidential elections. Francia Marquez, who is from the southwestern Cal- Cauca province, I don't know if it's Cauca or Cauca, it's Cauca province, is known for protesting illegal mining in her territory. In 2018, Marquez was awarded the Goldman Environmental Prize from organizing a 350-mile march to Bogota with 80 women, resulting in the removal of illegal mining operations from the Suarez municipality of Cauca. Marquez won more than 750 votes, 750,000 votes in a primary earlier this month, coming in third after Petro and the leading conservative candidate, Federico Gutierrez. So I guess she was running to be the president. This is sort of like a a Kamala Harris-Joe Biden situation. The the way Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were both running to be president, but when Kamala loses, Biden chooses her to be his vice president. Same thing here um, where uh, 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 um, Francia Marquez lost the original presidential vote then Petro chooses her to be his vice president. Marquez is the first black woman to run in presidential elections in Colombia's history. Gutierrez has also selected an Afro-Colombian running mate. Um, the engineer and former minister of the environment, uh, Luis Gerbit Ru. So this is a very interesting and important time in Colombian uh, electoral history because – for the first time ever, an Afro-Latino or an Afro-Latina could possibly be vice president. Okay, this is very historical. Of course, you know, it's a strange thing because I tell people that Colombia is not as racist as the United States of America. They don't say they don't have the same history as the United States of America. But, you know, it's pretty clear that, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Sorry, I'm trying to find this other article that I found. Here we go. Well, there's the singer right there. There's the big picture. That singer right there, that, that's Marla. She's the one who made all the racist comments. She also told – she also made another comment, uh, and here we go with this. I'm going to post a, a link to this too if I can. Um, there's the comment right there, so it's undeniable. Kakas and King Kong by Marbell. Marbell, that's the singer that you see in the picture here. Right here's the running mate, and here's the singer who made the racist comments. And then she went so far as to say, and we, and, and again, I'm going to post links to this in the in the description of this video, plus in the comments section. Then she goes and says, "Oh, they're just you know lovable nicknames, like King Kong is a lovable nickname, right?" And then uh, right here, you can see her being even more racist talking about he would have done better if he would have picked a Blanquita, which means a little white woman. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that, undeniable right here. And, and, of course, these are the tweets that she deleted, right? So, yeah, there's a lot of racism going on from this singer, Marbell. She's a total racist bitch, and it's undeniable. It's like this is blatant racism. And um, from the looks of it, if I were to make an educated guess, I think Petro and um, – you know, his vice president, uh, his formula, as they say, I think that they might win this election, and this is going to be a historical election for Colombia. So let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to, uh, you know, hit click that bell notification for all, and drop a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about this crazy shit that's going on in the Colombian elections, all right? Mikel Bird, Mactown Media, and I'm out. Peace!